What's up, what's up? Welcome back to the Knicks Cave. I'm Jan and Nick Fan, your host, and let's get right into it. But before we do, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment. You want to know when the next video is going to drop, hit the notification bell. The New York Knicks did it. They got game one. I was worried. I was really worried about game one. I, I'm going to be honest. I thought Indiana probably would have stole this, and they almost did. They almost did. Now, what can we take away from this game one? You know what I'm saying? I talked about keys to victories, and the Knicks pulled up. Three out of four wasn't bad. Three hours of, three out of four wasn't bad. Uh, Dante, Dante stepped up this game. I, I said I would like him to average at least 20 points throughout this series because we're definitely going to need him. Because if you look at our bench and at the Pacers bench, their bench is more, when I say, I'm about to say superior. I'm about to say better. And what I mean by that is it's the rotation that Tibbs is playing. It's our bench. Let's be real. Indiana have a better bench. And this is going to this gonna be a, a factor in this series. How long are we going to be able to survive Indiana bench and Indiana starters? The starters tonight, I'm not going to say they had an awful night because they didn't. Like I said, Miles Turner, 23 points. Siakam was right at his average at 19 points. Halliburton was the factor and if, for this game concerning the Indiana Pacers. If Halliburton would have scored 10 points, the New York Knicks would have lost this game. So I know there's a lot of patting on the back talking about genius and defense. No, the Knicks got stops and a few lucky breaks. We have to be honest with ourselves. I know y'all watching some videos and they talk about Tibbs, pure genius on defense. No, the Knicks got lucky this game. And I don't know if we're going to be that lucky coming into next game. Like I said, here, this is how we won the game. Brunson did outplay Halliburton. OG defense, I'm going to give it a B plus. You can't give it an A because Siakam was having his way with, o, and, with OG down in the paint. Yes, OG came up with some key steals. You know what I'm saying? Deflections. This is what we know he's going to do. You know what I'm saying? But one-on-one -on -one in the block, he cannot handle um, passed out Siakam we, we, we gotta be real with ourselves Let's not kid ourselves We can't go in here thinking that the Knicks dominated this game Because they did not dominate this game We gotta We gotta win We got away with one We can talk about that kickball Because it couldn't be overturned So they couldn't even challenge it That played a significant role in this victory Or defeat Either way Tibbs gotta sharpen some things up the pick and roll, like I said, three out of four wasn't back. Defending the pick and roll, we got lucky on this night because they went away from it later on in the game. They went away from the pick and roll. If they would have kept doing what they was doing with Miles Turner. We would have lost this game. There was some Q, I mean, <clears throat> key turnovers by um, the Pacers, questionable calls by the ref. One was a good call. I know a lot of people, I know Pacer fans are going to be talking about that. That offensive foul on Miles Turner, he was moving. He wasn't set. He didn't give the player t enough time to turn around to make his play. So that was a correct call by the refs. Did they miss calls tonight? Yes, they missed calls. But we're not going to talk about the refs. We're going to talk about what the New York Knicks got to do and what they got to do to get another victory. Now, if we can get game two, I, I, I'm going to be real with you. I can see we taking this, this series in game six. But if we don't get game two, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard fought. And I think it will go to a game seven. And if we can't make it to a game seven, the Knicks might be saying, good night. I'm not trying to be negative. I'm not trying to be. No, sir. But we have to be real with ourselves and what happened last night and what we've seen. Things have to change. Um, I don't know if we have the personnel, especially when we talk about the bench. Like I said, the bench, the New York Knicks starters scored 118 points last night. We got three points from out of our bench. Three points. Some could say the minutes wise because Miles O'Brien only played 10 minutes. Robinson only played played 11 minutes. Precious two played four minutes. It's not gonna. It's gonna take a toll on the guys. It's gonna take a toll on the guys. Jason. Jason. Jalen Brunson played 43 minutes. Dante played 43 minutes. Josh Hart played 48 minutes the whole damn game. Ananobi, 42 minutes. Isaiah Hartenstein, 36 minutes. 
The Knicks is not, is, is, that's not sustainable. So I know a lot of y'all is running around here talking about the Knicks pulled it off. Genius, Tom Thibodeau coaching. No, we got lucky this game. I'm going to take it. Yes, I'm going to take it. But the Knicks got lucky. And we can't sustain it if we keep playing the way. Well, if the bench keep playing the way the bench is playing, we have to find a way to get the bench more involved. We have to get off of so much isolation. We have to. Because when teams don't have confidence in the players, the players don't have confidence in, the, in their selves. Now, let's get into this game so we can get up out of here. Like I said, look at the, how the, what the Knicks did on the floor, shooting-wise. We shot 53% from the field. We went 44 for 82. Um, six is 46 for 88. Three points, we made 11 of 23, which is decent, 47, 47%. They went 10 for 26, shooting 38%. Free throw line. The Knicks was getting there a lot. Uh, it caught up, even, kind of even out. The uh, Pacers went 15 for 19. The Knicks went 22 for 26. Rebounds, we had 40. They had 32. Offensive rebounds, the Knicks got 8, 7 earlier in the first half. They was out rebounders, especially on um, the offensive end. The Knicks stepped that up in the second half. Um, Steals, we had 5. They had 9. Blocks, they had 5. We had 4. Um... Now, this is where the Knicks going to have to really start getting together. There was quite a few turnovers. Uh, I'm about to say kid, but Brunson had. Uh, we had 14 turnovers compared to these seven points in the paints. They outscored us in the paint, 64 to 58. Second chance points, the Knicks bounced back in the second half because at one point they was getting more second chance shots than us. We had 16 of their 10. Fast break point, the Knicks have 20. They had 18. Uh... I don't want the Knicks trying to keep pace with them running up and down the court because we don't have the personnel. The only person that I'm really confident in a full head of steam, y'all already know who that is, and that's Josh Hart. Um, the biggest lead was eight for the New York Knicks, nine for the Pacers. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about right now when we talk about the bench and how they have to perform and... Will they be able to keep pace with the paces? You know what I'm saying? Will the bench be able to keep pace with the pen? Well, y'all know what I mean. Keep up with the paces. Uh, we look at um, Jalen Brunson. Had another historical, historical night. Uh, fourth straight 40-point game. Joined a very selective group. And that's two New York Knicks in that group. I just want to point that out. We got two Knicks that scored 40 points in a playoff at least four times or more. Well, at this point, four. You know what I'm saying? Got Jerry West Lee in the pack with six. Then you got Michael Jordan. Look at that. Michael Jordan, four 40 point straight games, and Brunson is sitting right there. Then we got our man Bernard King from Fort Greene, which I happen to be born and raised from. <laughs> Pat myself on the back of that one. But yeah, we cannot get complicit. I'm just letting you know the Knicks cannot get complicit because this game wasn't easy. And I don't expect the Pacers to come out. I don't expect Halliburton to have uh, a, a, such a low out score, uh, um, scoring output next game. I think he's going to play much better, if not um, point, assist, than points. The Knicks going to have to step it up. You know what I'm saying? They're going to have to step it up. Like I said, if we look at what they did, uh, the, the points, the minutes, they're playing the bench. Three points from our bench. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if Burks will help. Um, Jeffries, Milton, what they got. We didn't see these guys play all season long, so I don't really think they can step in. Now, Bondanovic was a player I was really hoping to be in this series. I think it would really help stretch the floor for um, Jalen Brunson, but we don't have that luxury. He's gone. He's gone. You know what I'm saying? Now, we look at what um, Indiana did over there. Let's Now, look at the minutes. Nine players, all double figures in, double figures in minutes. The lowest minutes is 13 minutes. 22 minutes for McConnell. TJ, TJ McConnell has always been a New York Knicks killer. You know what I'm saying? He went nine for 16. He really hurt the Knicks at one point. But what 
really kind of took away from Indiana's playing him and Halliburton on the floor. It took away from defense because they neither one of them players are known for their defensive prowess. So that gave the Knicks a little bit of advantage. But on the scoring off end, Knicks got away tonight. That's all I can say. The Knicks got away. Look at the rotation they're playing and look at the minutes that he's giving these guys. It's going to outlast. It's, it's going to take a toll on our team, on our starters. I know tonight, celebrate, you know what I'm saying? But today is Tuesday, and you have to think about Wednesday. And we won that game, but we have to think about how can we get the next game without putting ourselves down nine points coming in the fourth quarter. You know what I'm saying? Josh Hart, you know what I'm saying? Dante stepped up. Brunson had 40-something points, 40, um, <clears throat> 43 points. But Josh Hart. Won us this game. He got us points and rebounds when we needed it. Another double double on a rebounding for Josh Hart. 13 rebounds, eight assists. But he did have five turnovers, but he had three steals and one block shot. Josh Hart, the heart of the New York, you know what I'm saying? Knicks. He was the reason we won this game. But our bench, McBride's got McBride got to step it up. He's been in a funk lately, and I'm expecting at least one or two games where he's going to hit that 20-point mark. But we got to set up more plays than the isolation. What, what, what I was upset about is that we didn't use the pick and roll against the, the Indiana Pacers. And when we did use it, I have to give Mal Turner credit. He played it right. He was getting back, you know what I'm saying, which Hartenstein going to have to watch that tape to see what he was doing so he can defend that pick and roll better. Tell me what y'all think in the comments. I know a lot of y'all are still giddy off this victory. I'm still giddy. But like I said, I have to look on the realistic side, the mistakes that was made, the mistakes that we survived. The Knicks survived game one, game two Wednesday. Can we get a significant win, significant win against the Indiana Pacers? And with that being said, I want everybody to stay safe, stay healthy, God bless, and peace.